Hey everybody, it's Keisha here with XD Web Solutions, and I want to give you a quick look into the new Google Social Search. Hey, say that real fast. Google Social Search. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't heard yet, Google has now fully integrated Social Search into its results as of February 17th of this year. Yet another change with Google, right? Shocker? Nah. But it's a good one this time, so I won't complain. So what I'm about to show you not only solidifies why Google is the king of search engines, but it is huge. And if this doesn't put fire under your butt and make you see the benefits of being more social online, especially for your business, then I don't know what will. And it might not be my job to do so, but <laughs> let's delve into it. Right on the official Google blog, they have an update um, about these social search. It provides you a little bit more detail, a couple of examples. And lastly, just wanted to point out, they provide a more convenient way now for us to connect our social network to our Google profile. You have to be logged in to your profile in order to see who shares stuff from your social networks. And so they provide a better way to do that. And then there's a cute little cartoon video down here I recommend you watching. I love those cartoon videos. Pretty nice. Pretty cute. Okay, so let's do a live example. All right, so let's type in... Best social media software. And look at that. The first result is one from my social network from Derek Maybe, who shared a Mashable link. All right, so that was shared from Twitter because the account I'm logged in with is connected with my Twitter account. And let's see what else we have here in the organic results. Here's another one. Another friend of mine on Twitter has shared something about social media management Twitter tools. So that's related to my search. And I will probably go see what this one is talking about because it's from someone that I know. And that's the whole point of social search. Seeing in the results those things that are shared by people in your network, people that you have already connected to, people that you trust. And so the, the idea is that you would go to those people as a resource first, especially if it's something that you're looking for. Say you're looking for restaurants in your area or you're looking for opinions and reviews about something. You will probably look to your friends first or at least those people that you are connected to. So that's one of the main purposes of social search. Again, why Google is the king of search engines. All right, let's do one more. Let's do, I don't know, it's another popular type of thing. Valentine's Day in St. Louis. Let's see what comes up. All right, because I popped in St. Louis, then it starts with a local search. So I get the top seven Google places out of the way. Let's get down to our organic results. Uh, look at that. One of my friends, Heather, has shared something on Twitter that's related to Valentine's Day in St. Louis. And maybe I go check out and see what she's talking about. So this stuff is integrated right within the organic results. Down here at the bottom, which is where the social search was initially, uh, in the beta version prior to February 17th, actually still here now, as we can see. But we have results from people in your social circle. And you get to see what other people are saying about Valentine's Day in St. Louis. And this is from St. Louis Valentine, who also shared a link. So this is pretty powerful. When you have results like this from your social networks and your friends who are directly integrated into the organic results of search engines, this is huge, guys. And what does that say about search engine optimization, though, and search engine marketing? I don't know. That could be another topic. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Here's another cool tool, too, in Google. Under results on the left-hand side, we can see more of who's talking about stuff in our social networks by just clicking on that social link. So now not only do I see what Heather is saying in St. Louis Valentin, which were on the first page in the organic results, but now I also see what other people are talking about. Anti-Valentine's Day cupcakes or customers cry scream over Groupon for Valentine's Day. So this is the type of stuff that I can look at and see what people are tweeting about here in my case because I have Twitter connected to my Google profile. Well, they're tweeting about related to my search. Again, this is pretty huge, guys. So if you don't see the value of social search by now, I think you will when you start to see this coming up in your results or when uh, your search engine optimization techniques are being downplayed by the social search in Google. Oh, and one more thing. Facebook will not show up here. Facebook and Google don't play well. And that's another post that I have created, and I'll put a link to that too. 
they don't play very well. Now, Bing lists some Facebook uh, results in the social search, but not Google. We won't see Google. We won't see Facebook here. Uh, we will see Blogger. We will see YouTube, of course. I believe LinkedIn as well. Uh, and of course, Twitter. So we won't see Facebook. But that's another story. So anyway, thank you for checking out the video. I will have links beneath that describe some of the information that I talked about. And I look forward to talking with you soon. In the meantime, make it a great day.